get this hike underway, shall we? What is up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. So in this video, I'm going to do a little bit of a background, kind of behind the scenes of what happened during my 30-kilometer uh, hike. It's a lot of stuff, not a lot of stuff, but some stuff happened off camera. And uh, also, I'm going to kind of explain situations, you know, good and bad. So um, I got it all queued up here for me, and you're going to watch the clips. And I'll uh, sort of explain what happened throughout uh, the trip, good and bad, and everything in between. <laughs> so without further ado, crack my favorite beer. Come on now. Shout out Collective Arts. And we'll get to it. Oh, there's usually duckies here. Here, ducky, ducky, ducky. Whack. Whoa! Don't use a hiking pole on a bridge. <laughs> so here we have the, what I'm calling the bridge fails. The epic bridge fails. Every single time that I would try and cross a bridge with my hiking poles, my pole would get lodged into one of the slots and would get stuck. It actually happened to me three times, as you can see. And um, only on the third time did I realize not to do it anymore. Just carry your poles across the bridge. Don't uh, try and use them. And actually, what's funny, is I don't know if you can see that, but I actually broke my hiking pole on the third one there, where I went, oh! It actually snapped, and I didn't notice till I got back. So, Little uh, little lesson hiking and <laughs> don't use your hiking pole on a bridge <laughs> unless it's cement or something, you know, don't wooden bridges. Anyways, moving on to uh, the next scene. We got the deer. And here's why you want to keep your head on a swivel. Not sure if you can see them. Beautiful. They're staying still just for me. There's another one right there. Two right there. One right there. Awesome. Yeah, that was honestly, honestly, I, I, I'm kind of still speechless even watching the videos. I'm watching these to be honest with you, because, uh, you know, kind of remind myself. But uh, I was hiking along, and out of the corner of my eye, I just saw what seemed to be, you know, a deer, like the, the stance of a deer. And I looked up, and I saw the deer, and they, they knew I was there way before I even had a clue that they were around, because it was looking right at me. And when I first started filming, and they were kind of in the trees, I didn't want to move because... I didn't want them to leave, I wanted to get them on film. And when I kept hiking down the trail, I hiked like maybe 10 more feet. They didn't even budge, and then I realized there was more. And uh, honestly, that was just amazing. That was an amazing experience. They, I know they weren't standing there just for me, but it, it really felt like it. It felt like they were just kind of waiting for me to get a picture or something. It was remarkable. And I was speechless. All I could say was awesome. It was just awesome. It's good times. And there was more deer later on in the video. A lot of deer that day. A lot of deer. But anyways, we move on to the next scenes. <sighs> okay. So this part of the trail is relatively easy. And I know that because I've been here. So it's pretty flat. Pretty easy to walk. Which is good because this is where I make up time. <laughs> so, it actually isn't as bad as I thought it was, but uh, my next sort of behind the scenes was uh, this part of the trail. I was hiking way too fast, like way too fast, and I think that played a little part in uh, my knees, because I was 
honestly, I was so motivated, I was so pumped that I was doing this hike. And this was in the beginning of the hike. This was the first 15 kilometers. So I was so pumped and motivated that I was walking way too fast. I was hiking way too fast. And I didn't even acknowledge that while I was hiking or throughout the day. I noticed that my pace had slowed down, but I didn't notice how fast I was actually hiking. And it's obviously going to play a factor if you have bad knees that you're walking faster than you normally walk. So way too fast was I just wanted to bring that up I was I felt so good while I was hiking I was motivated I had snacks before like I was I wasn't hungry I wasn't thirsty I was I was so motivated and committed to making it to uh, I believe this was Felker's Falls or on my way to Felker's Falls I wanted to get to Felker's Falls and then Red Hill like I I was hiking way too fast was my point and looking back at it, watching the film, I realized like you were pushing it way too hard. And when I got to um, where I had lunch, I realized that it's only been an hour and 45 minutes and you hiked way too far. Like I was going way too fast. And uh, I'm pretty sure that played a big factor uh, to my knees starting to get sore. But uh, one of the biggest reasons is uh, coming up actually why my my knee turned out to be, my knee turned out poorly, I guess, reacted poorly, acted poorly, <laughs> but we'll get to that. Anyways, on to the next scene. Time for some lunch. What do we got for lunch? Oop, covering it up. Oop, that's French. Oh, can't see it. Baked beans with seasoned with bacon and brown sugar. Right in the can. Burnt the beans in the bottom. So it has this little burnt smell to it. But that's okay. Just waiting for water to boil up for a coffee. Got a little burnt taste to it too. Oh, the beans. The beans. Let me tell you about the beans. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure that uh, what burnt wasn't the beans. Because while I was eating it, it didn't smell too bad. It, it smelled burnt, and there was little burnt chunks in the can. But w when I tasted it, there was like a chemically, it was chemical is my point. It tastes burnt. It didn't taste very good. I had, I didn't eat it all, I'm not going to lie, I, I, I think I had like three or four mouthfuls just to kind of put some protein in my body for the hike, but I didn't eat all of it. I was, it tasted really weird and uh, didn't make me sick, first of all, didn't, uh, I didn't get sick or anything like that, but I just didn't trust the taste. It tasted really chemically and burnt, so I don't know if it was, uh, I was told in the past not to cook in a can because there's a layer inside that keeps everything fresh and if you cook that layer it's it's a chemical liner sort of right so my first thought was the the chemical liner or the liner inside burnt and that's what I was eating and I was like nope and I <laughs> I got rid of the beans pretty much immediately so in the video I was oh yeah they don't taste too bad they tasted horrible they really that's probably one of the only times <laughs> That I've ever sort of uh, acted, so to speak, like oh they don't taste too bad, they tasted horrible. But I was kind of it's protein, right? Like it's food for a very long hike, so I just kind of tried to eat as much as I could. But they were gross. They were <laughs> the beans were gross. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing that. Bring a pot. I should have just used my pot and uh, cooked it up properly. Don't don't do that. Anyways, on to the next. Uh, Sherman Access, I believe. Spin! Oh man, the spin. The spin. Let me tell you about the spin. First of all, let me clarify that this was the Kenworth access, not the Sherman access. 
not the point. The spin that I did, I was walking backwards and I spun around. First of all, I spun around to walk backwards, but then I spun around. The second spin is what did it for me. That's where, shortly after this, my knee started to act up. My, my, my good knee, this knee, that's no longer good. <laughs> my good knee started to act up probably about 50 yards, you know, not even a football field from this situation. My knee started to act up. Then I started filming shortly after, which I'll show you a short part of it. I was saying how my knee's acting up. But uh, that was before the Wentworth Stairs and um, the spin. That was the only thing that I did wrong throughout this hike. So that was the only thing that I can think of that irritated my knee enough to, to get it to start aching. The spin. Ugh. Live and learn, right? <laughs> Don't do stuff like that. It's not worth it. And it's funny because I said earlier in the video, watch where you step because one step will blow your knee out. And that's exactly what happened. Though I, did, I don't think I blew my knee out, but it's basically what happened was I made a, a careless mistake of spinning around like that in snow. And the, the walkway that I was walking on was like this wide. Right? Like it, it wasn't that wide, so it was just not smart. The spin. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one. Well, here we are. The dreaded Wentworth stairs. Oh, sun's in there. We're going down here again? <laughs> so these are the stairs. And I'm not gonna lie, my knee is not happy right now. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try the stairs. And if my knee starts to act up, then I know that uh, continuing is gonna be a challenge. Holy jeez. for the stairs let me tell you the stairs was um, I'm not gonna lie if I'm being honest the stairs the Wentworth stairs was where I should have stopped that was where the hike should have ended as far as my knee being sore and I really could have saved my knee so to speak from getting worse but what's funny is I put in the beginning of the video sort of determined determination took over and that's the truth that my brain wouldn't let me stop my brain was like you've gotten more than halfway you can keep going just baby your knee and you can make it that's honestly where I should have stopped I'm not even gonna lie the Wentworth stairs climbing the stairs wasn't that bad and the reason why uh, like a little a little behind the scenes for you is when I would get to a platform where the stairs leveled out, you climb the stairs, you get to a platform, you go up the stairs. So when I would get to a platform, I would use the stairs and stretch out my legs. I'd put my bad knee, you know, three steps up and I would lean against my bad knee and just stretch my legs out. And I think that's why they didn't feel that bad uh, when I got to the top. But uh, I'm not going to lie, that's where I should have ended the hike right there. I should have called it do a, a part two or something, but live and learn, right? Now I know that um, walking so fast, hiking so fast is a bad idea. And when I got to this point, I did that little spin -a it, it affected my knee big time. And um, live and learn, right? Next time, I know, hike slower and don't get, uh, you know, foolish shots like that, spinning and whatnot in the winter time. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next scene. I call it, uh, oh, I forgot. T not tiptoeing. Feather footing. I don't remember. Being real gentle on my feet, though, is my point. <laughs> this is a quick little one, to be honest. 
This, uh, I completely forgot what I was talking about while I was hiking. But what I was referring to was twinkle toes. That's what I call it. When you try and be easy on your feet and you're walking lightly while you're hiking, I call that being twinkle toes. Twinkle toes? That was a quick one though, I'm not going to lie. That was <laughs> super quick. But anyways, on to the next one. Well, something got eaten. Bunch of fur. Got eaten or got attacked, one or the other. Crazy. Oh man, the fur. That was insane for me, to be honest, to see that on the trail. It was right on the trail too, is my point. Whatever happened uh, in that situation with the fur and the poop and the blood, it happened right on the trail. So that, that kind of blew my mind. And I didn't know what to do, to be honest. I just kind of filmed it and, and moved on. It was, uh, it was intense. I, I kind of I messed with my psyche, so to speak. Something was there attacking something earlier on before I got there. It was, it was crazy. But anyways, on to the next one. Well, I'm still going. <coughs> I'm not going to lie, I believe that I took a wrong turn, like I'm still on the Bruce Trail, but I think that I was supposed to take a side trail and end up uh, where I wanted to end up. So now, I'm thinking the hike's going to be longer. <laughs> Can hear a road down there that... Hey man, what street is that over there? You know? No? Nobody seems to know which street this is. Where is it? Here we are. Oh man. So this little scene I'm uh, naming Wilson Road. Because what's funny about this scene is that was the end for me. That was Wilson Road connected to where I wanted to end. So when I got to this spot, I could have finished the, the, the hike right there. That would have been 30 kilometers. That would have been the end of the hike. But my phone was acting up and wouldn't show me a map. It wouldn't show me where I was. So I didn't know Wilson Road connected with Main Street. I just I saw Wilson Road and I kept hiking. So a little behind the scenes for you, which is fun. That was the end of the hike. This like that I could have finished right there with those deer sitting down it would have been fantastic that would have been the end I could have set up my fire and had my beer and it would have been amazing but I didn't know that that was the end of the hike I figured I'm gonna see a sign I'm gonna see Dundas or Ancaster something like that and I'm gonna finish the hike I didn't know that that was the end but again live and learn right bring a map <laughs> Or at least have a GPS or something with you so you know where you are and you're not uh, stranded like I was. But that's the funny part. That was the end right there. That was, that was the spot that I wanted to get to and uh, hike across Hamilton. But I ended up hiking about 10 kilometers more to get to uh, Old Dundas Road. But live and learn. That's the point. So funny because looking back, I know that now, but when I was sitting there, I, I had no idea. <laughs> Live and learn. That's all you can do. On to the end. The end of the trip. everybody I got my tree and it didn't explode which I'm surprised to be honest it's been minus 10 all day oh all right everybody batteries just died and I put up my old batteries so I'm gonna call it we're a bit on an angle too I'm sorry but anyways thank you for watching Thanks for taking this journey with me if you're if you're still with me. Please hit subscribe. I got videos like this coming. And yeah, I'll see you next time.
man, the last scene. Let me tell you, that was the pretty much that was pretty much the most exhausted I've ever been. And at that point, I didn't even care. <laughs> I just set up shop right beside the street that I was gonna hike down to get back into Dundas. Got my fire going. A little behind the scenes was while I was walking to shut the camera off, my beer spilt. When I turned around, I looked over, my beer was tilted over, it was gone. My treat was gone. <laughs> but I finished the hike, even though it was way too long. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not going to lie, pretty sure there's going to be a redemption hike coming up soon. Because um, the first 15 kilometers were fine, but the, the second half was a uh, bit of a problem. But it could always be worse. I made it. I made my goal. I made it where I wanted to go. And further. <laughs> but anyways, that sums it up. That's my uh, little, I guess, my little recap of what happened during my 30 kilometer hiking trip. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And um, yeah, please hit subscribe. There'll be plenty of hiking trips in the future. I got uh, at least two or three, you know, lined up for the future. So, yeah, that sums it up. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the trail next time. Cheers.